Okay guys, so today I'm going to teach you guys how to separate your colors in Photoshop so you can prepare yourself to make a screen print. First thing you want to do is go to Start Menu and open up Photoshop. Next thing you want to do is go to File and open up your image. The first image that I'm doing is a Phillies logo and it isn't like the colors aren't touching each other so you want to go to your magic wand tool all right see how i just click contiguous all right that is going to highlight just the like part of the image that you selected if you uncheck this box it will select all of that same color so then what you want to do you want to go to the gradient tool and select paint bucket and then you want to make sure that your paint is black and when you click on the image that you have highlighted with the magic wand tool it'll make your image black and you want to do that so you can block out all of the light so that when you print your stencil will be clear and then I'm going to do that again with the blue part of the image Oops. And then click on paint bucket again and make this blue. You can do this step all at the same exact time because the image isn't touching. If I'm going to show you guys another image where the like colors are touching so you can see how it makes a difference. So now I have all of this selected and turned like made it black. So you can print that out and that'll be black for your stencil. All right. So I'm going to do the next image where the colors are touching. You're going to go to file open again. On this image, the colors are exactly right beside each other, like the orange and the purple are touching. So you want to go to your magic wand tool again, and then make sure the continuous box is unchecked. And then you select either one of the colors. I did purple first. So then you want to make that black. <laughs> and it changes all of it to black and then you want to select the orange and you want to delete that this is going you do that because you can't if I turned all of the image black then it, it would just be one blob kind of not really the the colors wouldn't actually be separated when you print this you want two different images because um, when you, like you have to print two different colors like you can't just have one black thing or it'll be one color